Nearly 34 years after Pan Am Flight 103 blew up over Scotland, the man accused of building the bomb that took the plane down is in the U.S. to stand trial. On December 21, 1988, the plane took off from London Heathrow Airport and was headed to New York's Kennedy Airport. After 38 minutes in the air, a bomb in the cargo area exploded as the flight was over Lockerbie, Scotland. 270 people were killed. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on that. Dick? Well, Christine, prosecutors say Aguila Mohammed Massoud built the bomb, delivered it in a suitcase, and even set the timer. There were 190 Americans on the flight, among them 35 students from Syracuse University. I carry her with me. It's been 34 years since Janine Boulanger lost her daughter, Nicole, who was 21 years old when she died in the explosion of Pan Am Flight 103. For me, um, it's my first thought in the morning, and it's my last thought at night. Nicole was one of 35 students killed from Syracuse University, returning home from a semester abroad. Miriam is gone. We can't rectify that. The parents of Miriam Luby Wolf still mourn. Miriam was also one of those Syracuse students. She had spent a semester in London. There's a hole in our lives for the rest of our lives. The bombing killed 259 people on board and 11 more on the ground. It happened four days before Christmas in 1988. A quiet night in a Scottish village shattered. But only now is the alleged bomb maker, Aguila Mohammed Massoud, facing justice. The U.S. charged Massoud two years ago after investigators pieced together fragments of the jet, ultimately leading to parts of a cassette recorder packed with explosives. This is a, a significant milestone um, for me, my families, and all the families of, of those killed. But even 34 years later, for so many, closure does not come easily. The loss of my husband is a void that happened and will never be filled. Mary Kay Stratus of Montvale, New Jersey, lost her husband, Eliah, and she feels a measure of justice today, but can never forget the moment all those years ago when she broke the awful news to her children. My seven-year-old um, said, she just shook her head, and she said, I only had seven years with him, but can I count? The months I was in your tummy, wow, <sighs> reaching for more time with him. Right now, Masood refuses to answer questions until he has an attorney. He's the third person charged in this case. In 2001, two others were tried in the Netherlands. One person was acquitted, a second found guilty and sentenced to life. But he was released in 2012 because he had prostate cancer and later died. Christine.